Welcome to this presentation on how to read a data sheet, part two of two, part of Osram Opto Semiconductor's LED fundamental series. In this presentation, we will examine the key parameters specified on the last half of an LED data sheet from Osram Opto Semiconductors. Page 13 of the data sheet has three graphs which illustrate the behavior of the LED with respect to change in forward current. The first graph shows the change in forward voltage with increase in forward current at a constant solder point temperature of 85 degrees C. The scale on the x-axis represents the typical values of forward voltage. The current through the LED increases exponentially with increase in forward voltage. The minimum forward current for this LED, listed on page 3 of the datasheet, is 200 milliamps. If the LED is operated below the listed minimum current, one could expect higher differences in values of forward voltage between LEDs in this region. The relative luminous flux graph on page 13 shows the change in flux with respect to forward current. The value on the y-axis is a relative value which represents the ratio of flux at a specific current with respect to the binning current at a solder point temperature of 85 degrees C. For example, the flux output at 1400 milliamps would be roughly 1.7 times the value of flux at 700 milliamps. The chromaticity coordinate shift graph on the right illustrates the change in the chromaticity coordinates with respect to forward current. The values on the y-axis represent the change in Cx and Cy from the values at the binning current at a constant solder point temperature of 85 degrees C. For example, the value of Cy shows no shift and Cx decreases by approximately 0.005 at 1400 milliamps from the values at 700 milliamps. Page 14 illustrates the behavior of the LED with respect to change in junction temperature. All curves are shown at the binning current of 700 milliamps. The first graph represents the change in forward voltage with respect to a junction temperature of 85 degrees C. For example, if the LED junction temperature was 25 degrees C, the forward voltage would be 0.11 volts higher compared to the LED at a junction temperature of 85 degrees C. The second graph notes the relative change in flux with respect to junction temperature at a constant current of 700 milliamps. For example, the luminous flux at 25 degrees C junction temperature would be 1.05 times the value at 85 degrees C at a constant current of 700 milliamps. The third graph tracks the chromaticity coordinates with respect to junction temperature at a constant current of 700 milliamps. For example, the chromaticity coordinate Cx would be 0.44 and Cy would be 0.4125 at 25 degree junction temperature. All three graphs on page 13 and 14 fully characterize the behavior of the LED with respect to temperature, current, and forward voltage. Page 15 of the datasheet has the maximum permissible steady state forward current with respect to solder point temperature. The solder point temperature depends on the thermal management of the system and can be easily measured. Page 16 gives the mechanical dimensions of the LED package. All dimensions are in millimeters and inches. The top, side, and bottom views of the LED package are shown here. The notch on the thermal pad indicates the location of the cathode pad. Page 18 shows the recommended solder pad design of the LED. It also shows the solder resist and solder stencil dimensions. These guidelines must be followed while doing a PCB layout for the LED to ensure good thermal management and attachment of the LED package. Page 20 of the datasheet shows the reflow soldering profile of the LED. 
This component is qualified for a standard lead-free reflow soldering process with a maximum peak temperature of 260 degrees C. For an optimized alignment, it is recommended to check the profile of all new PCB materials and designs. As a good starting point, the recommended temperature profile of the solder paste manufacturer can be used. All temperatures refer to the center of the package, measured on top of the component. Page 21 shows tape and reel information. It shows dimensions of the tape and LED locations in a reel and also an indicator to identify the cathode side of the LED. Page 22 gives additional information related to the tape and reel. SMT components are packaged properly to ensure perfect and economical processing. Osram Opto Semiconductors offers packaging in 8, 12, 16, or 24 millimeter standard tapes. The leads are galvanic tin plated with pure tin for Rojas compliant devices, which ensures good solderability even after two years storage time. Page 23 of the datasheet gives information on the barcode label and the packaging details. A standard barcode product label identifies the contents by producer, country of origin, product designation, lot number, date code, material number, and quantity. The dry package bag is a three-layer laminated design. ESD protection is provided by the middle layer of the aluminum metallized polyester. The desiccant material contains silica gel and active clay. The desiccant pouches greatly reduce the presence of moisture by maintaining the environment in the bag at no greater than 10% relative humidity, thus protecting the devices during shipment and storage for 24 months. A humidity indicator card is included in each package with humidity sensitive elements which turn from blue to pink whenever the specific relative humidity level is exceeded. Page 24 contains information related to the transportation packaging. Here you will find the dimensions of the transportation package and the placement of the barcode labels. Pages 25 and 26 contain some notes and disclaimers related to the product. The last page of the datasheet has a few remarks on brightness values, chromaticity coordinates, and forward voltage values quoted in the datasheet. Please refer to our product charts on this website for datasheets on every general lighting LED by Osram Opto Semiconductors. Thank you for viewing this presentation by Osram Opto Semiconductors.